nice to be in Canada. It's beautiful here, it's so nice. I, I don't know if you even know what you have. It's so nice. And I don't understand why it doesn't drip down <laughs> into the United States, but somehow it doesn't. That line there is very firm. Which, I, our priorities are different. Uh, frankly, where I live is mean. Uh, I, got in a, I got in a fight the other day over a parking space at the Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> They're just, we're not that, we're not that, we, for example, my family were atheists. Um, and uh, they, they're not particularly tolerant of that where I live, I must say. Uh, and you know, really, the good thing about being an atheist is that we have no mandate to convert anybody. So you're not gonna wake up on a Saturday morning with me at your door. We, I, I never go like, ding dong, just stop by to tell you there is no word. I just brought along this little blank book I was hoping you'd take a look at. Even my, my kids get upset with me because um, we don't celebrate Easter. Uh, I say to them, first of all, it's not a part of our religious beliefs. And second of all, you don't like eggs. <laughs> and thirdly, you don't look for anything. <laughs> Happy Easter, go find your socks. <laughs> I have three kids. I have a 17-year-old, um, a 14-year-old, and a 10-year-old, and I hesitate because it changes. I just showed him the other night the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I said, Mommy seems good, doesn't she? <laughs> because I think against that backdrop, I really shine. My 10-year-old is a 10-year-old boy. He's adorable but nutty, violent and wild uh, all the time, except for about two years ago, uh, he got the flu and uh, he had 104.6 temperature. Nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. <laughs> Everything was, please, mom, I love you, mom, thank you, mom. It was so hard to call the doctor. <laughs> I called, I said, is there any way we could just half the prescription? Keep him at like 102, nothing that would do brain damage, just, he's wild, he's totally insane. I had to help him do a report this year on a black mamba snake, and it was agony helping him do homework. It occurred to me halfway through the project, it actually would have been easier to help a black mamba snake do a report about my son. <laughs> I was riding around in vans today that had doors that you pull out and slide, which I love. I have a van that, um, it's too fancy for me. It's, it, it's uh, people should design cars that aren't good drivers, like I'm not a good driver. Mine, you have, you, you can, the door opens with a blippy thingy, and that's much too hard for me. It does it automatically. My van also makes a beeping sound before you crash into something from behind. <laughs> This is such a stupid feature. I, I didn't know that. The last thing I said before my last several wrecks was, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> and it cuts off the CD player so that you can hear the beep. Well, I wouldn't have been in a wreck if I wasn't trying to fix the CD player. <laughs> I can't, the kids make fun of me. I can't get the, car, I can't get the van doors open. So there's days where we, I push it, I push it a couple times, they say I'm not doing it right, I'm pushing it, what else am I supposed to do? There are days where I have not taken them to school <laughs> because I couldn't get the van door open. So we just go back in the house and wait. Sometimes in the middle of the night you'll hear like, and I go, get in the car, get in the car! <laughs> you guys have been a terrific crowd, I thank you so much. I'm 28 years old, and I'm in show business. So, you know, if things go well, my wife hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> really, I want to be so rich that when I say, yo, brother, what's up? I'm not saying hello, I'm asking, what are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs>